If you want to make more money in your business, if you want to get raises and promotions and better opportunities and doors open for you, the it factor is it. What gives a person an it factor? Are you born with it or do you develop it? Well, I want to talk about that today and how you can develop an it factor. It's so, you know what? I'm going to hush. Let's just get into it. Hey guys, I am Dr. Stephanie, a neurometaphysicist, and I help you take the science and the spiritual and blend them to have the best life possible. And today I want to talk to you about developing an it factor, a factor that allows you to walk in any room and light it up. A factor that allows you to not say a word, but your presence alone becomes a present. Right. So here's the reality. Many people are born with an it factor. Many people are born with a lot of the characteristics that we are going to talk about today. But just because you were not born with these characteristics, just because you were not born with that glow does not mean that you cannot adopt it. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples today. So if you're at a place where you're ready to elevate in life, elevate your business, people spend money with you and not know why they're spending money with you, you getting promotions, you finding favor everywhere that you go, you being in a situation where it just seems like everything works out for you. Everything works for your good. Secret, because it does. Everything works for your good. You want to keep watching and listening. Many people have asked me, why is it that you seem so lucky in business? The truth is I'm lucky in everything I touch. And I know that's going to come off as a little arrogant. It is simply the truth. There is nothing that I have put my energy behind in any way, even the smallest amount that did not see a return that did not see growth. It is just a reality for me. This started as a very, very small child. I will never forget. And this one thing stands out to me. It's so silly, but it really stands out to me. Um, my babysitter, we were in the mall and I wanted like some McDonald's or something as a kid. And she was like, your mama didn't leave any money for us to get McDonald's. We'll go home and eat, blah, 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 blah. We continue to go through the mall and these groups of people stop us and ask a few questions of me. And I didn't know what it was about, but I was answering. Turns out, long story short, it was a Teddy Grahams commercial. Do you guys remember Teddy Grahams, the little cookie? I don't even know if they still make them, but this was when Teddy Grahams was pretty new. Turns out it was a Teddy Grahams commercial. Now, in hindsight, we should have got paid a whole lot more money. It should have been a bigger benefit. But as a kid, I didn't care. It felt good. She didn't know any better either. She was a teenager. So I do the Teddy Graham. They asked me a series of questions on camera. I do the commercial and they give us like 200 bucks and we leave there. We go to McDonald's. Now, I know that sounds like this is so silly. So I've been manifesting. When I say all my life, it really is all my life. But those situations where TV is drawn to me, opportunities is drawn to me, it is the story of my life. Go back to when I internship at NBC, I was told that I couldn't intern because I was um, a sophomore at University of Alabama, Birmingham. And um, at the time I was working at the airport, long story short, see someone, they're carrying a Today Show bag. Me, as shy as I am, interesting enough, I'm definitely an introvert, but I am a person who take hold of opportunities. I've just never been one to see an opportunity. And even if I'm scared to speak up, I'm going to speak up anyway, because I learned early on, that's how you get the things that you desire. So I stopped the guy, started talking to him. Of course, he's busy. He's trying to get through the airport. So he hands me his card and says to me, reach out to me. Let me see how I can help you. Now, I wasn't even talking to him about an internship. I just said that I wanted an opportunity to work for NBC. I reached out to him via email, ended up with a job at NBC 13. At, literally started out with an internship, 
Yes, during my sophomore year where they told me I could not get one because you have to do it for school credit, which I think was your junior and your senior year. I ended up with one and then ended up with a job. This is the story of my life. I've done a lot of TV in my lifetime. Uh, I have opportunities that come galore. I told you guys the story of how I ended up with a publishing agent. This is just what my life is. And people have often wondered why. And I can say, and I don't even feel like this is anything to pat yourself on the back for, because I think this is something we all can carry. But for some reason, from a young child, I did. I did not know I wasn't supposed to. I did not know opportunity should be hard. My first job at a radio station, it was 95.7 Jams in Birmingham, Alabama, and they were not hiring 16-year-olds. I had applied and they were not hiring. And lo and behold, I kept winning the contest where you're like the seventh caller, the ninth caller. I kept winning the contest. And by the time I won like my fourth win, when I go to pick up the, the gift or the prize, Someone comes out from the back, long story short, ended up with a job at 16 at the hottest radio station. This is just what my life has all, always done. And as I've been on this journey to teach this work and really study quantum physics and study mindset and study psychiatry and study how we think and how we move, what I began to realize is just that some of the things that you can learn I was just crazy enough not to know any better as a kid. I was crazy enough at 16 to think that if I wanted any job, I could have it. Why do I have to work at the fast food restaurant? I don't want to. That ain't for me. That's not my story. <laughs> and so I didn't. <laughs> I was just crazy enough to believe it. And like nothing could shake me from that. Like it wasn't even, fast food wasn't an option for me. Like I didn't even think about it because that's just not a part of my story. And so that's just how it happened to be the way I was raised and the way my brain works. But I have helped so many people develop this. And this is what I truly believe we call the it factor. So I just kind of Googled it just to see. Of course, people have different ideologies about what the it factor is. But the easiest one that came up is having presence in a room, having presence in a room. I have always known, get me in the room with the person. I don't even have to say a lot. When I walk in, there is a light, there is a glow and people pick up on it and they want me within their company. They want me in their life. They like, it's just what it is. You can develop this. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today. And this blends in manifestation extremely well. I know you guys love the topic of manifestation. So just know that it's all in here because it's all about the way you think about yourself. So when you think about, this is important. I want you to think about right now, what does it mean to have a presence for you? What does that mean? Have you ever met a person who carried a presence? So I will tell you what people have told me about me, right? So when you think about what presence is, what people have told me is that even if I walk in not speaking, I'll just smile, or maybe I will walk in and I'll just say hello to the room. There is just energetically something about me that makes people want to talk to me more. That's what an it factor is. So when you think about yourself and what it means to develop an it factor, you need to know that it means that you command a room without demanding the room. I'm going to repeat that. You command the room without demanding the room. You don't have to yell. You don't have to scream. You don't have to say, everyone follow me. You are simply you in your presence that commands a room. Simply you in that presence mean that when you speak, people listen. When you move, people watch. And this can be used for your benefit when you know how to wield that power. That means people, even if you are not considered conventionally beautiful, people will still find you beautiful. People will find that something about you that's like, oh, you're so gorgeous. 
something about you that's like, oh, you just got, it used to be a song by 702 called Stilo. Like it's just something about his Stilo, something about his style, something about his vibe. It's just something about you. And so when you can wield that and take that power, you get everything you want in life. And I want to let you know that it is 1000% connected to how you speak to you and what your beliefs are about you. That's what's beautiful about it. I've had so many of my clients who will find themselves wanting to stand out in the room and yet they'll get lost in the room. No one will see them. And this is how you know it really has nothing to do with beauty, especially not conventional beauty, because the most beautiful people in the world can be ignored and not seen, not taken seriously. Some of the most beautiful people. They can walk in a room and even if people see them, they can disappear in the room. <laughs> they just disappear. And it's all about what you say to yourself. So I want to insert a video right here of Marilyn Monroe. It is said that Marilyn Monroe would always speak to herself about being beautiful. For though I'm sure everyone knows Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe was seen as one of the most beautiful women and even today and she has been gone over 50 years at this point she has been seen she is seen as one of the most beautiful women in the world but a lot of people don't know that she was not always seen. how marilyn monroe created her beauty and fame i daydreamed chiefly about beauty i dreamed of myself becoming so beautiful that people would turn to look at me when i passed I dreamed of myself walking proudly in beautiful clothes and being admired by everyone and overhearing words of praise. I made up the praises and repeated them aloud as if someone else were saying them. And so she worked to reprogram her thoughts and her beliefs about herself so that other people can start seeing that and feeling that. And when you begin to change your story about what people are saying about you and seeing in you, in that moment, you will become that person with the it factor. What I began to realize about myself is some of the um, worthiness or self-consciousness issues that a lot of people develop in childhood, I just never developed. Even if someone, the people have told me I was ugly. In my mind, okay, well, beauty is in the eye beholder and you're the weirdo because I'm gorgeous. Like, you must be jealous. You must hate me for some other reason because we know that I'm not ugly, right? Like, thankfully, I've always carried that. It didn't matter. Um, people, I've heard people say like stuff about like skin tone or race or all these things. I don't experience those things because from a very young age, what I have always believed is that people inherently like me inherently I am a person that people see they're attracted to they want to be around and I never really connected this to the fact that as introverted as I am I'm wondering why I walk in rooms and people are attracted like and I kind of want to be in a corner and watch people first <laughs> never connected it for years until I started doing this work. So from a very young age, like I said, I was just silly enough to think that even though you told me I can't have McDonald's because we don't have McDonald's money, we go get some McDonald's because I said I want McDonald's. I am just silly enough to believe that if I want a TV show, I can have a TV show. If I want more PR for my business, I can have more PR because People are attracted to me, what I have to say, my brand, what I'm doing, because people are attracted to everything about me. Now, again, if you're a person right now that maybe you're dealing with some self-esteem issues, it may make you uncomfortable for me to say this about myself, but I'm using this as an example. This isn't about me. I'm giving you the example so you can realize this about yourself. I'm just silly enough to believe that everyone's attracted to me. I am just silly enough to believe that everyone is here for my good. I am just silly enough to believe that 
people are drawn to me and what I have to say. I'm just silly enough to believe that I can start a business and not really know how to run a business and my business become successful. I am just silly enough to believe that though Vogue told me no, they were not interested in any conversation about what I was doing, that yes, they were, and they would come around. And less than four weeks later, uh, there was a feature in Vogue. I just... How can you apply that to your life? How can you become just silly enough, just foolish enough, just delusional enough to really believe these things? There literally is nothing in my life that I can even think of that I ever really thought I could not have. I am just silly and delusional and crazy enough to think I can have do and be whatever and therefore when I walk into rooms people see that in me I am hey guys I just want to take a quick commercial break in order to share with you instant manifestation I want to give you a little quick behind the scenes of the course do you want that all right let's get into it Hey guys, I just want to take you on a very quick tour of the instant manifestation course. If you have not registered yet, you are missing out. You deeply can change your life with this course. It tells you everything that you need to know to go from a person who is constantly purposely working on manifestation to a person who is living a life, moving through the quantum realms and giving everything that they desire. As you can see here, so you'll see what the modules look like. We start off with a welcome, of course, and you'll see a video from me, plus a comment section where you can ask questions, you complete each lesson, and then you simply move on to the next lesson. Each module also comes with your homework. Now, as you can see here, we kick into the crux of the program with the art of receiving, which is my most favorite module, mainly because when you can master receiving, you become an open vessel for all that is for your good to come in. And I also added an extra here, which was not a part of the course. And I decided to add, which is a meditation a meditation to make you that open vessel that you can start going through. It's really exciting. This audio is about an hour long. Now, guys, you have access to this. And so you can listen to this on your time. You do not have to um, do it by a certain period of time. You have access to this as long as this site is up. Next is the art of knowing, which may seem a little interesting to most people, but let me break the art of down, of knowing down for you. It's two parts. It's the art of knowing what you desire, the clarity, and then the, also the art of knowing that it exists in a realm. And so we go through that process, what that means, what that looks like, the art of knowing. It is so, so important. And your homework is in there. And of course, same as before, comment section down below. And I broke the art of knowing into two parts for you. And so I want to say it's about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes between those two parts. And then my other favorite part, the art of detachment, because people have a very hard time receiving and people have a very hard time detaching. And I am sharing with you the magic of detachment, what that looks like, how to do it. And it's going to completely change how you look at your life and co-creation within your life. Now, when you register, you get immediate access to all of these modules. You'll see here the open, um, becoming an open vessel to receive visualization. Um, here's a quick video depicting a vis visualization exercise that I use to energetically open to receive. Leave any questions you may have below. Let's see if I can play a little bit. Hey guys, so I wanted to give you a little extra something that I thought would come in handy. And it is a little exercise that you can do on receiving. And it's kind of a visualization. Well, I guess it is. And I will share with you what I do. 
Okay, so I'm of course not going to play it all, but it is such a powerful visualization that you can use on a regular basis to open up to receive until you learn how to just do this on your own. It is so powerful. So if you have not signed up as of yet for instant manifestation, you're just going to go to the School of Quantum Living. And once you get there, you want to click on instant manifestation, scroll down, and you will see where you can get registered. It's super easy. As soon as you register, you get immediate access. So you don't have to wait at all. Let's get back into the video. I'm a believer in reinvention. The very the video right before this, or maybe the video before that one, it's within the last couple videos, is about the art of reinvention. Part of the reason that I can talk about reinvention is I am in my early 40s. I am 42. I have lived several lifetimes. I've had several amazing businesses. I've had so many amazing... You can't see the rest of it right here, but I had a cooking show. I was just silly enough to think I could have a cooking show. Just silly enough to believe this. So I had that period. I had a period that I was a producer and a reporter. I had a period where I worked for corporate America. And now I've been an entrepreneur for 16 years. Literally everything I touch works out for me as long as I really want it to work out. But again, it is the story that I am choosing to tell myself. So really, what are the things that I choose to tell myself? I gave you a few of them, but kind of let's go back into it in almost like a list type format, right? If I desire it, I can have it. If I desire it, I can have it. If I desire it, I am supposed to have it. If I desire it, I'm supposed to have it. There is an irresistible light that comes from me that those here for my good are drawn to. There is an irresistible light coming from me that those here for my good are drawn to. These are just a few of the things that I tell myself. Um, people find me attractive people find me attractive I think it's part of the reason why 70 pounds ago like I missed that I was that big I didn't realize it because I did not see the evidence of it and how people treated me people trying to talk to me man's been a buddy I mean like some of the things that supposedly comes along with being plus size just wasn't my experience but I think part of that is I was just silly enough to think that like why would you be attracted to me? Do you see me? These are the things you need. I hope you were writing those down. You need to make those fit for you. When I go, every, every job I try to get, I get. That used to be a big one for me when I was working. I knew that as long as, now it would change a little bit. It's been 16 years since I've been in a workplace, but it used to be that I knew that I could apply and then I'm going to call the hiring manager. I'm going to get in there. Somebody go see me. And I knew that when people met me, when people saw me, that was the magic. That was the magic. I also think that's why even today I am much better on video. More people are attracted to me on video because from a very young age, I knew that if people could see me while they hear me, that they would be attracted to whatever it is I'm talking about and to me. I'm the brand whatever it is. So it doesn't matter what business I start. I'm going to win because it's me, right? And so that's what you can adopt. Whatever it is, you're going to win because it's you. It's a light coming from you. Every room you walk into, people are attracted to you like a moth to a flame. You are the it factor. It's you. And as long as you begin to recognize that, yes, it's true. Everyone is you pushed out. Your experience in the world is experience of what's happening internally for you. When you begin to realize this and you begin to do some things that I think are needed, and I talked about them when I gave you, I, we probably showed the commercial already, for instant manifestation, when you learn to receive, so good, so good. 
when you learn to open to be the vessel that everything that's meant for your good literally pours into your life like a heavy rain. But all of that's coming down, it looked like rain is your good. All of your good, your money, your love, your joy, your health, your experiences, your peace. All that's for your good is raining down and pouring into your vessel. When you learn to know that it does exist, when you learn, look, I didn't know that for most people, my experiences are not like logical experiences, things that happen. But it's because I just, those were my beliefs. There was nothing else. It wasn't even like I was choosing this belief that's different from this one. I never believed this one. So this one never would even come into my level of consciousness. I, my state is that people love me. My state is that people love me. My state is that people find me beautiful and find favor with me. My state is that if there's a position I wanted, of course it's mine. My state is, I'm not underqualified for anything. It's top cat jobs, I ain't no business. What am I doing in this position? Right? And so it's all about you knowing that if you want it, it's yours. And then knowing how to detach from that. And so inside of instant manifestation, I go through, it's about two hours. It's broken into modules and you can go through it at your pace and watch it on the weekend or after work or however you choose to do it. And you have forever access to it, but it literally walks you through how be becoming it, having an it factor is knowing what instant manifestation is. Instantly manifesting, walking into a room and everyone is attracted to you. It is the, what is it? What's the term that people use? The um. I can't even think of it. It's like being the star of the room. We'll just stick to it factor. Being the star of the room when you walk in, everybody's drawn to you. Everything in the room is for you. So I wanted to share that with you because I truly believe that if you are going through a hard time in your life, in your business, in your relationship, in your finances, whatever it is, we just got to shift you. Because having the it factor, having that thing about you, that people are just drawn to will change your will change your circumstances. It will change your life. People will wonder why you get the opportunities you get. I, people have actually said it, um, not necessarily to me, but I've overheard people say things or read on blogs like, she's not that smart. Why does she get these opportunities? Because I'm that smart and I have an it factor. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and let's note this. Part of having an it factor is you are not a mean girl or a mean guy. I wish good for everybody. I want us all to have these opportunities, which is why I teach this, which is why I share this, and which is why even though I have instant manifestation, the course that's available for you to buy, I still just gave you so much magic if you made it through this long video. Most people don't even have the attention span to make it through. And so we miss a lot of our blessings and opportunities. But being a kind person, being a person that not just knows your magic, but sees the magic in other humans as well, is how you become it. It's never being a mean girl. It is never being a mean guy, ever, ever. Let other people do that. That has nothing to do with you. Okay, so I pray that this was helpful for you. Any questions you have, leave them below. Any comments, any thoughts, leave them below. If you join Instant Manifestation, let me know below. And if you are joining, let me know. I want to be able to kiki and chit chat with you inside of the group. And I'm going to end it here, guys.